Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So I wanted to talk about the episode 5 trailer. There is so much in this trailer that I, um, I'm questioning how they're going to fit this in the episode. I, like, I really feel like it's probably going to be like an hour long episode or something just because I don't know how else they're going to give us this much because there's actually quite a bit that happens and it seems like it all starts with uh, Daryl and Laurent going to the nest and I have a lot of questions on the nest and just what this place is in general. So I will do a video on that this week at some point, but yeah, it is very interesting in terms of just what is happening with Isabel and Quinn, and it really feels like, um, I mean, again, there's this Walker variant here, and we're all questioning, like, how is Daryl going to survive this? Well, there is some shots in the trailer that seem to kind of tease how that might actually happen, and I do think Isabel might be the one that saves his life here. So anyways, before going further, make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my Walking Dead content like this. And if you haven't subscribed to the Empty Minds podcast, definitely go do so. The next episode of the podcast will be out tomorrow. I will leave a link down below if you want to go check it out. Uh, it's just on YouTube here. I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribed. I mean, we're trying to get to a thousand subs. So yeah, we're sort of on that journey right now to get there. But yeah, let's talk about episode five here. So this episode seems to really focus, obviously, like I said, on uh, Laurent and Daryl going to the nest and at some point obviously something is going to go wrong and the the trailer does begin with daryl asking i guess i don't know who that was but it was somebody that was helping them get to the nest but uh daryl asks him like what's the nest like like what is this place like and he just kind of says well this place is really amazing you're like you're safe sort of thing and I mean, for me, I don't know if it's because I just watched Saw X, which, by the way, if you do want to see my review for Saw X, we actually talk about it in the podcast. So, yeah, that's going to be there. But I'm just suspicious of everyone now. Like, I'm constantly thinking, like, this person has this sort of ulterior motive or this person is planning this. This is all sort of a game in some sense. And so this guy here, I mean, he seems so genuine. Like, he's very, very nice. Like, he's on Daryl's side. But for some reason, I'm just like, I don't know. Do we trust him? Is he working for Madame Janine? like there's just something off about it right but i think he probably is like legit i do think he's probably on their side it's just obviously for me again i just watched saw x so i'm just a little like uh we actually see a shot of him later on i believe it's him anyways it's a nighttime shot we see daryl here and he's speaking with somebody i'm pretty sure this is him because they're wearing like the same hat and he tells daryl like you have to bring laurent to the nest like you need to bring him there now and so i think that is likely obviously like the the goal here and it's probably because i mean first of all again i have a lot of questions like why are they off the boat i guess the boat only brought them so far and now they gotta travel on foot to the specific place and i don't know if they have passed where madame Genet and all of that you know like their, their forces were but it seems like i mean again they are going to get captured right like that's going to happen here in this episode so something's gonna go wrong here and so i wonder if this guy is sort of warning daryl if he knows a little bit more and he's warning daryl like you need to go right now like basically right like you, like you have to go and so isabel you know going with uh quinn as well i will say like it doesn't really seem like i mean i guess we'll see it's clearly not gonna really work though right like quinn that's the thing like quinn might want to do stuff to help isabel but i also kind of feel like he's he's not gonna really care too much and that's the one thing too like madame Janet might find out that quinn lied about the boy right and so she might not want to really help him out either so it's one of those things where i'm like it's gonna backfire at some point and i think that's why daryl ends up being captured we do have this shot of madame Janet giving this speech and i'll do a video talking about madame Janet and whether or not you know she believes in the whole laurent thing or what her concern is exactly I actually think what she's more concerned about, and I was thinking about this a lot more, I think she's more concerned about the fact that uh, Laurent could be a really successful leader. Because there is something, again, like the whole cure thing and all that, obviously that's a big question mark right now, we're all wondering about it, but the ability for him to be a really great leader and unite everyone is something that I don't think should be questioned. Because a lot of people really believe in Laurent, right? Like there's so much belief there that they're all just believing him. and. I think that is a big threat to Madame Genet and what she has, because obviously for her, she wants to, you know, bring hope to everybody. And that's sort of her whole thing is that she gives people hope. But I think Laurent gives people more hope, right? I think she feels threatened by that. I think that's why she wants 
Juan Laurent because I think if he does get to the nest, again, I don't know what this place is. We'll talk about it in a video this week, but there's something about this place that is going to give him a lot more power to be able to do certain things. And I don't know if it's another entity that is there that is equal to Madame Genet. And so in, in that sense, Madame Genet has no control at that point. And so that's obviously a big concern for her, maybe. But she is giving this speech here. And I thought that this was just... It's a really cool scene because it just feels so old school, like so like 1940s sort of thing. Like I just really get that vibe here. It's sort of an old school, like World War II kind of feel. I mean, she's a villain. She's clearly a villain, right? Like you can just tell here. And we do see some shots here of this variant walker. It's one shot here, but we know Daryl's going to be trapped here in this scene. So uh, he's going to get caught. This is going to be a really epic episode. I really think episode five out of, I mean, that's the thing. The early reviewers said that episode five is the second best of the season, and episode six is the best one. And, you know, I've really enjoyed the first four episodes. I still think the premiere is my favorite one. It's kind of hard to believe that these episodes could be better, but based off of the trailer, I could see it. I can see how episode five is likely going to be the best one so far of the season. There is so much in this. Uh, the Varian Walker fight, that alone is going to be just amazing to see. Uh, if they give more details on some other stuff. And then going into the finale, again, like there's a lot there. Carol could show up in that episode at the very end. There, there's a lot here. There's a lot to be excited for. And especially in episode five as well, we do have the Daryl flashback stuff, right? Like we're going to see a lot of the flashback scenes, how Daryl got to France, what happened on that boat and all of that. Like there is so much there to break down. So there's going to there's gonna be quite a bit here. And I'm just so excited for this episode. I mean, the hype for this episode this week is just, it's going to be unreal. But we then do have this shot. Like we have the shot right here of uh, Isabel and Quinn and obviously a total outfit change. At this point, I believe they are with Madame Genet and her forces here. And just because of the lighting and the mood and the setting here, I think this happens later on in the episode. I think at this point here, I mean, who knows? Maybe this is a flashback to something happening before uh, before the apocalypse or something, but I don't think so. I think this is something happening like right now. And I think there's going to be this whole show of we caught the American and this is Daryl here fighting this new variant Walker. And this variant Walker is going to be a big reveal that, that Genet is going to show everybody, right? And so it's going to be almost like this insane gladiator type of moment here where everyone's watching Daryl fight this variant walker. And <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Does he win? He's obviously going to win, right? But how? And you need to win in a way that doesn't undermine how scary these variant walkers can be, right? So I'm hoping in that sense, Isabel, you know, the reason she's in this shot here and, you know, I think she's going to be in the audience and she's going to be forced to watch this I think she is going to, in some way, help Daryl out. That's the only thing I can really think of, because otherwise, I mean, Daryl has no weapon. I don't know how this is going to happen. Like, I'm so just, I'm so intrigued in how the variant walker is going to operate, move, and just how the whole thing's going to go. Is it just going to be a walker that is very, very fast and aggressive and is strong? Um, how strong is it? You know, if it, if Daryl pushes it away, can he really push it away? There's things like that I have questions about. Like, there's... Yeah, and I just, yeah, I have a lot of questions about a lot of that. And I also think the variant walker shouldn't be that easy to kill as well. I think that, you know, if you're stabbing in the head or whatever you're doing, if it does get back up, like it should be, again, just like the scenes we've gotten before where it's very robotic like, right? And yeah, I, I just have a lot of questions on how it's actually going to play out. We do see some shots of Isabel and uh, I mean, she seems concerned about something that she's going to have to do. Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. But Isabel... At this point, we actually see her at Quinn's, like, fortress, I guess is what I would call it. I mean, it's some compound or something anyways. Like, it's this really insane house. <laughs> and, like, yeah, you could tell Quinn has a lot of power. Because I will say, just based off of that bar scene alone, it didn't really seem like he had a lot of power. It just seemed like, is this the place he's staying in? But no, I guess if he has a place like this and he has guards outside, he's a very important person. And he's somehow built this up in the apocalypse, which is... Very, very impressive, obviously. And so he has this place here. Uh, Isabel is there as well. And uh, we'll have to wait and see, I guess, what this really means for Isabel. At some point, she's obviously going to leave with Quinn to, I believe, Madame Genet's place or whatever. And at this point, Daryl will have been captured. I actually think the way it's going to go, though, is I do think Quinn is likely going to die. I don't see a way in which Quinn's going to survive this season. There was actually a shot that we still haven't seen yet. But Isabel was like scared and she was trapped like underground somewhere and she was trying to escape. And I don't remember seeing this shot yet. Laurent was on the other side of the bars 
and there was a walker coming towards Isabel that looked a lot like Quinn. So I actually think that that actually could be Quinn, and so I think he's most likely going to die here in episode five, and that is kind of my prediction overall, is I think the way this episode is going to end is there's going to be, again, a bunch of stuff that happens, variant walker stuff, it's going to be really insane, and at the very end, I think they're all going to be reunited. I think we'll have Daryl, Isabel, Laurent, and Sylvie all together, and I guess going towards the nest, and then, I mean, just what happens to Madame Genet and Caudron at that point, right? Like, Caudron obviously is very upset. Caudron has sort of taken a backseat a little bit in the last, like, two episodes, or I guess episode three, he did sort of have a big moment there, but I would say he's sort of, he's taken a backseat a little bit to, you know, just, I guess, to allow the story to sort of progress, but there's a lot of stuff there with that character that I think we're going to see really portrayed here in episode five. And uh, yeah, his hate for Daryl, I think we're going to see quite a bit here. But yeah, we do have some shots again. Like I said, Daryl, uh, this variant walker chases him. So this is confirmation. We are getting this in episode five. We're going to see what happened here. And uh, I'm so excited. Are we going to see anything with Carol? You know, that there's that one shot of him talking on the phone or whatever. So is uh, Daryl talking to Carol in that scene? Most likely, but uh, do we hear Carol's voice? I think that'd be really cool. A lot of shots of Daryl and Laurent on their own. So I wonder what happened to that guy then. Did he just, did he die at some point or what happened? Or did they just run away from him? Was he was he bad or something? I have no idea. But Daryl and Laurent seem to be on their own for, for quite a bit here of this episode. And I actually, I'm so happy with how this season played out because I thought this whole season was basically going to be Daryl and Laura on their own, because I know people compare it to The Last of Us a lot. So I guess that's why I sort of had that impression that Daryl and Laura would be on their own quite a bit, and that Daryl and Laura would form like the special bond overall, um, just like Joel and Ellie. But it's really, it really hasn't been the case at all. Daryl and Laura don't really have that special of a connection. Like, nothing more than Daryl and Isabel do, right? Like, it's just sort of, that's, they're a group, and they're bringing Laurent to this place. And so this episode, yes, they're they're together and they're just, they're by themselves, but it's really like, it's because the story sort of, it went in that direction, but I assume by the end of the episode, they're all going to be reunited. So to me, I think the Last of Us comparisons, I, I just, I don't really agree with that much. We do have a shot here of Daryl, and I think he's like punching this one guy here. And I believe because of his outfit, this is actually in America. So a lot of flashbacks, I think we're actually going to be getting in this episode. I think it's going to be, Kind of cool to see. I wonder if we're going to see any other like previous characters. Like, will Carol show up? Will Judith show up or something? I am, um, yeah, I'm really wondering about that. I'm really curious about the flashbacks. I know one of the flashbacks apparently was something that was really, really incredible, very, very like heartwarming or something. So, I don't know. Is it Carol? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah, this is the trailer here for episode five. The trailer looks really, really great. Uh, this episode looks great. I'm hyped to see the variant Walker stuff. I really am. I think it's going to be, I mean, I'm hoping it's going to be really amazing. Like, I don't want to like, you know, sort of think about it as in it's going to be this epic sort of whatever. But I also think they, they, they have an opportunity here to make this fight truly, truly epic. Um, you know, I don't want it to be like Dead City. I guess I should say that Dead City's fight with the Walker King was something that was very disappointing. Like, I really liked the fact that we saw the Walker King. There was some cool stuff there with, with Maggie, you know, but I still think the fight lasted way too short. And that's a criticism I have just in general with stuff with the walking dead, like these cool moments end so fast. And it's just, it's frustrating, you know, like obviously the, the Daryl versus beta thing, you know, Negan and Daryl versus beta, I guess I should say, that was just way too sad. Like, th that was way too short. I think the Maggie versus the Walker King, it wasn't so bad, but it was also one of those things where I think it, it should have been a bigger scene. It really should have been a bigger scene because it was kind of teased like it was this really cool moment. And I think that they could have made that an, a really easily a good five-minute scene where just so much was happening. Maggie was struggling to get away from this Walker. Um, I think they could have did it a lot better. So I think this fight here with this Walker should be done the same way. I will be so disappointed if the fight is literally Daryl sees this variant walker, it runs at Daryl, uh, he's struggling with it, or he's pushing it away, or maybe he's hiding behind pillars or something, and then Isabel takes it out right away. Like, basically, right? Or it jumps on Daryl, and then Isabel takes it out, and then it's done within a minute or two. I will be so disappointed if it's like that, because I, I really want it to be something where it's more... I guess, epic in scale, not so much, obviously, because it's just, it's it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. It's not going to be a lot, but I want to see the abilities of the variant Walker. I want to see Daryl struggle with it. I want it to seem terrifying. And so in terms of 
how you can do that, I think you have to rely on the setting. Because I think if it's just them in a room, like that walker is just running towards Daryl, and Daryl really only has one option, and it's just to take it out immediately. Like, if he's struggling with it on the ground, the walker is going to be too strong, right? So he'll just die kind of thing. So I think he has to run on, like, pillars or hide behind stuff. He's going to have to use... That's where things get really interesting. Like, if there's chains around sort of thing, like tying it up or doing this and trying to get away and, like, really building it up like that. I think that is what you should do. Stuff like that, I think, is what would be really, really amazing with it. But if they if they end it too soon, I really will be so, so disappointed. That is really going to be too, too disappointing. I don't want to see that. Uh, I do think it would be important for this walker to, to like, randomly kill somebody. Like... Um, you know, I was mentioning earlier that Quinn potentially could die in this episode. Maybe that's how Isabel saves Daryl is by throwing uh, Quinn over the edge or something like that. Right. And then so uh, Quinn dies, obviously. And then maybe there's a reveal there where Quinn becomes a variant walker like this. So if you have a walker that's already a variant that is sort of, you know, made by, you know, uh, maybe if it bites another person and they turn, they become the variant, right? Because I guess th those are other questions that we'll have as well. Like, can these walker walker variants change other walkers or change other people to become more like them? Or is this something where you have to be given this serum or whatever to be able to become a variant, right? So anyways, I'm so excited for episode five. There's so much here to talk about, but definitely post all your thoughts down below. Post your predictions for episode five. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.